My name is Iyad. I live, love and eat in London. I grew up in a large Middle Eastern family where food is always the center of attention. I am constantly inspired by everything around me, especially when it is this colorful and tasty. I have always cooked and recently qualified as a chef from the one and only Le Cordon Bleu in London. With this series, I decided to share my stories and love for Middle Eastern food through quick and easy to make recipes. I love them and I hope you will too. This is Middle Feast with Ian. Madouche is my go-to remedy for the morning after a night out on the juice, uh, if you know what I mean. I'm going to make you a good manouche made out of flatbread. I'm not going to make dough. And the two main ingredients that go on the flatbread are either cheese or za'atar. Za'atar is the word for thyme. It is a herb. It's indigenous of Palestine and Jordan. And the mixture right here is thyme herb, dried thyme herb, wild herb, and um, sesame sumac and salt. To make the za'atar mix, I'm uh, adding two teaspoons of za'atar and four teaspoons of olive oil. And then once I'm done adding, I mix the mixture together to this consistency. So, if I'm using already baked bread, uh, I don't want it to dry out in the, in the oven. So what my mom used to do is either freeze these or what she did very quickly, run them under water. She added a bit of moisture and then she was ready to cover them with za'atar. So, the process is you cover the flatbread with za'atar. Just a little thin layer. And this is the kind of you know, texture and a combination you're looking for. Not too thick, not too thin, good enough for it to bake in the oven. In Palestine, Jordan, Lebanon and Syria, for us, the holy trinity is za'atar, olive oil, and nabulsi cheese. So what I'm going to do with one of these beautiful babies is to put three slices of nabulsi cheese so I can let that melt on top of the za'atar, just like that. So now I'm ready to bake these beautiful manbushes. So I'm going to place them next to each other, ready to bake. And I've preheated my oven at 190 to broil and grill on top. You have to watch out for these because they burn very quickly. It's a herb and the bread has been moisturized but it, they might burn very quickly. So they're ready to, um, to grill. It's gonna take about maybe 30 seconds. Just keep an eye on these. Once they start to bubble up, we take them out of the oven. Let's put these beautiful babies in the oven. After one minute of baking, they look superb. Oh my. They're just sizzling. So I'm gonna do a little bit of experimentation with plating. I place them that way because three is a good number. And then I'm gonna garnish these. Usually you can either have them with uh, olives or uh, cucumbers but I like tomatoes and I like onions. So this is my go-to remedy for the day after a night out on the juice. And I hope you really enjoy it the way I do. My mother's uh, trick worked very well. Za'atar is the best thing for mornings and usually people have it with a glass of uh, black tea, hot black tea, I have it with a glass of Bademeri. The word for it is sahtain, which means to your health and twice to your health. Bon appétit. Mare. Io te parlo e non rispondo.